Matt, you're Australia's number one, but what are your first memories of Arsenal from growing up back home? The, well, the reason I became an Arsenal supporter um, is, yeah, I remember I was a young kid and I was at my friend's house and uh, we were watching television at the time and on came a documentary of Thierry Henry. And, uh, yeah, being obviously a football lover, me and my friend, we were sat there watching and we were just in awe of, you know, his achievements in what he was doing in this documentary. Um, you know, obviously it was a, a montage of highlights of goals he scored and, you know, success he's helped contribute, you know, to, to Arsenal in, in what they've won in, in those times. And from that moment on, I basically fell in love with him and the club and, yeah, became an Arsenal supporter and, yeah, have been, I guess, I was going to say till this day, but I guess when I was down there in Brighton, I signed there and obviously you guys became a rival, I guess a little less so, but it's still a, a club that's... Uh, got a special place in, in my heart and, and now even more so, probably more than it ever has um, in the past because, yeah, I've got the opportunity to, to represent them now. And our Australian gooners in the support club will often tell us about the crazy times they have to get up to watch Premier League football. Presumably then that's something you can relate to. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Lots of um, tired school days and all that from getting up and watching, you know, Champions League games. You know, I'm pretty sure the, the, early, the earliest we had to get up with the when the clocks changed was 4 a.m. in the morning to, to watch the Champions League kickoff times. Uh, yeah, it never made school that day uh, very easy, but you know, nonetheless, there was more often than not, I was pretty upbeat, you know, happy with probably a, an Arsenal win during those times. We also visited Sydney not too long ago in pre-season, experienced a great level of support. What can you tell us about the sort of support and the fan base that we do have in Australia? Yeah, it's massive. Um, you know, the, the English Premier League is easily the most covered league down under and anyone you, you speak to or the majority you, you speak to of people there, um, you know, all follow the English game and have a, an English team as their, their favourite team and who they support. So, yeah, obviously like the big global teams, Liverpool, Manchester United and, and Arsenal, I'd say are the, probably the three most followed teams down there. And, um, and yeah, I, obviously I jumped on the Arsenal bandwagon and... Um, you know, it's, it's proven to be quite um, rewarding for me. And you're only the second Australian to represent Arsenal. Does it make you proud to be flying the flag for your country? Yeah, definitely. I mean, when the interest first came up, it was one of the first things that I tried to Google if there had been a, another Australian player to represent them. And I'd seen that John Cosmina um, had, uh, had been here in, in the past, all those years ago. I think, I think he only managed one game, though. So, uh, fingers crossed I can, uh, yeah get a, a bigger tally than that and, and um, yeah, contribute to the club. But yeah, ultimately just yeah, really happy to be here and you know, can't wait to, to get stuck in and yeah, start uh, contributing to yeah, more success of the club.